Well, how to do? How are you? So some friends visit us from out of town. Chris and Cheryl. Chris always brings me some beer when he comes around. Now, this time he brought me a couple imports. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. I don't know if it's pronounced Tucker. Um, Helles Hefeweizen. It is 5.2%. Their website describes it as a traditional Bavarian wheat. Uh, top fermented and unfiltered. Uh, they describe the aroma refreshing with strong notes of citrus, banana, and melon, as well as hints of spice and clove, which is rather typical for this style. It pours, actually I've kind of had to take a picture and get things set up so that my head is dissipated, but it pours with a very thick, creamy white head. I'm using my, uh, I don't, I actually, I, I do own a traditional wheat glass, but I've kind of had them put away for the winter, and I didn't want to dig one out, so I'm using my Imperial pint, because it does hold the whole, whole bottle, as you can see. Yeah, I mean, you, you certainly get the banana, a banana clove, I don't know if I'm getting melon, hold on. Yeah, I suppose, I mean, what the hell, <laughs> I suppose melon. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting mostly the banana, the citrus. Uh, I'm certainly getting the spice and clove. I'm going to let it warm. Maybe I'll get some more banana. More banana, but melon. It is unfiltered. Uh, I noticed little bits of this and that as I was pouring. You know, the flavor, I, I'm getting a lot of banana. I mean, this is probably the preferred beer of, you know, monkeys. See, there I need somebody with some drums going to do... Anyways, I digress. Uh, yeah. Focus time! Anyways. Uh, yeah, it's mostly banana right away. Uh, you certainly do get that spice and clove in there. Um, I don't know. I guess it depends on what you're looking at. I'm not sure what they're calling melon. I suppose if you're reaching, you can say there's there's notes of cantaloupe or honeydew in there. But I think that's a stretch, personally. I mean, it, it is banana, which you're getting most of, and you're certainly getting some citrus in there, as well as the, you know, the, the clove, which, I mean, it's, it's typical. This isn't reinventing the wheel. There's nothing new under the sun about this beer. But you don't want anything new under the sun if you're buying a style. I mean, this is, is familiar. If this is the flavors you want, this certainly isn't going to disappoint you. It's typically a beer, for Americans anyway, that we drink mostly in the spring-summer months. Uh, because it is, it is, it is, it is very refreshing. So you want a beer like this when it's hot. So right now I'm kind of trying to convince myself that it's not, you know, 30 degrees outside. What is it about there today? Is it up to 40 today? Oh, is it really? 56 degrees. Oh, well, shit, I should have went outside and did the video. See, I've been inside for so long, I could have went outside and did the video. But, uh, you know, I haven't been out of my uh, Guinness jammies all weekend, so. <laughs> it's off. I'm staying comfy, man. So anyway, I thank Chris and Shaw for bringing this beer to me. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, this, you know, uh, I think the problem with a lot of craft beer drinkers is always looking for something new. Does is it different? No, it's not different. It is the style. If you want a beer that's true to a style, here you go. This one isn't going to disappoint you. It's going to taste just like about any other, you know, well crafted traditional German Hefeweizens out there. That's what it is. So I'm coming to Beer Whisper. I'm going to slam this, and I'll be back. Addendum, I was just reminded that the reason they brought these, they brought this one and then one from Hofbrau House. The reason they brought these two particular beers is you got it, to tell me again, in Waynesville? At the Paradise Deli. Paradise Deli, which is a German... German eatery. They have breakfast and lunch and dinner. And so they use traditional German food yep. called, called Paradise? Paradise Deli. Paradise Deli, where they, is that their specialty is German food? Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. the specialty is German. Germany. They are, okay, they're from Germany and they also obviously carry German beer. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and now, is it a place to, that you eat there or is it uh, just to take out? Yeah. But they you also serve beer beer to take you out, can obviously. Take it out too. You yeah. can drink it in or take it out. So there you go. If you ever for whatever the hell reason <laughs> I don't know why you, you would be, but if you happen to be out there and having a, 
craving for German food and German beer, stop in. Very good.